Roberts, and with me here, defense attorney Jeffrey Steinberg. Jeffrey, let me bring you in the conversation here. And celebrity defense attorney Jeffrey Steinberger. The lovably abrasive Jeffrey Steinberger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, defense attorney panelist Jeffrey Steinberger. Let me get Jeffrey in here, though, because, I mean, isn't it a little bit different when we're talking about debt versus crimes? Nika, you're absolutely right. This is the most silly, dangerous, and irresponsible legislation that's coming out of Ohio. What, are you kidding me? If you're dumb enough, stupid enough to do a crime three times or more, you don't deserve any breaks. You don't deserve to have your record sealed. You don't deserve protection by the law. Jeffrey, there has been some extremely harsh criticism of Mr. Vick in the last couple of days. I want to put up on the screen a little bit of what has been said. Put this monster in a cage where he belongs, not on a football field. Vic has got an uphill battle here. He's got one. The NFL has already made judgment on him. He's got a suspension that all the public knows about. And they've well, already they're not calling it officially a suspension. They're well, just saying he can't join the team. Well, what does that mean? Out. What does that mean if he didn't call it a suspension? Why did they suspend him? He must have done something wrong. People don't make all these little finite decisions. They figure it out and they say, you know, my gut feeling is, why would the NFL suspend him if he didn't do anything wrong? Lindsay's a train wreck out of control. She's either going to be going to the morgue or to jail. And this time, she's probably going to jail. My celebrity clients all follow the same pattern. Accelerated drug use. She's now upped it from alcohol to alcohol and cocaine. And accelerated uh, frequency of arrest. Because five kids get killed, you go out and you, get, you drum up evidence to get somebody to convict them of murder. What? They spend true. all the way, so they spend the rest true? of their lives. And only care? if it's credible, and only if it's true, and only if you get witnesses, and only if you have forensics, and only if you have DNA, and only if you have evidence that's going to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this guy is guilty. Dr. Werner Smith's obviously an, an enormously impressive guy in terms of his credentials and his background. Um, but it, how do you, as a defense no lawyer, know when enough is enough? Uh, juries don't like to be played. They don't like being force-fed, they don't like being played, they don't like to see repetitive testimony keep coming forward and forward and forward. They said, we got it already, we got it, okay? Now you're beating us up and we don't like it. This is a celebrity brouhaha. This is a celebrity media trial and we keep doing that to all these people and we don't know if he's guilty yet. He still is innocent and he's going to be presumed innocent until he gets into a court of law and all these people who are speaking out have to be sworn in under penalty of perjury. Well, we did not indict him tonight. I well, thank we you very much.